Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to manually take tail log transaction log backup of a database in SQL Server. And we'll be using two methods. One is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface, and other method would be using T-SQL script. Keep in mind the, the reason why we need to take a T log uh, transaction log backup if your uh, uh, database is already uh, corrupted and you are in process of restoring that, it's always a good idea to take tail log backup of your transaction so that uh, once you're done with restoring your uh, full backup, differential backup, and other transactional log backup, then you can go ahead and um, restore your tail log backup and bring your database online. Tail log backup usually contains all the transaction that hasn't been captured during your normal um, uh, transaction log backup so you don't want to uh, uh, you know you don't want to uh, lose the transaction that wasn't that weren't captured in your transaction log backup and to minimum uh, to minimal the uh, effect of uh, data loss you need to take a tail log transaction log backup again uh, this tail, tail log backup I'm repeating myself that um, it is going to be when your database is already in bad shape and you're trying to restore your database and trying to minimal minimal the uh, effect of losing the data uh, because your database is already corrupted and you need to restore that. So let's go ahead and do that. This is my SQL Server and these are my databases. Let's say that uh, right here is my database that's corrupted and uh, um, database has to be online in order to take the T log backup but uh, uh, after DBCC run, you uh, made sure that uh, it's uh, corrupted and you need to restore the previous da uh, da database backup such as full log, uh, full backup, and then you go ahead and do the transactional log backup and restore all the, um, uh, I'm sorry, differential log backup and restore all the transactional log backup. But you don't want to lose the transaction that hasn't been captured in your transactional log backup. You're going to do that with the tail, tail log. So we're going to go ahead, right click on the database and go to the ba backup. And we're going to select transactional log backup since it is uh, a family of transactional log backup. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Keep in mind that when you take the uh, tail log backup, you need to select copy only backup right here and um, here is uh, your backup where it's going to uh, rest uh, store your backup so we're going to go ahead and click on media options and look at the media options right here we have a append to the existing backup if you do the append the other existing backup sets won't get hurt so it'll just append in the particular location that you have provided overwrite will hurt existing backup sets and it'll overwrite the uh, this backup on the uh, other backups that you already have on that storage so check media name backup expiration this is uh, all about the media uh, if you're using the tape media uh, for example you can check this bar and give the media set name and also if you are starting your tape backup and you wanted to um, format your uh, tape backup and start the new backups on that you can select this option also if you wanted to verify usually uh, T log backup you don't want to really basically you know, verify because if you click on here the the uh, up here is the option that when you wanted to do the tail log of uh, of tail log backup of any database you need to select this because this will prevent it from not truncating because your database is already corrupted and you don't want really um, the the truncate uh, transactions log it what it'll do is it backups the T log and put the database in restoring state and the reason it does that once the database is in restore uh, mode you can go ahead and restore your full uh, backup and then after that you can restore your differential and then you can restore your uh, other transaction log backup once you're done keep in mind when you're restoring full backup differential and transaction log you need to leave the database in no recovery options up here if you um, I'll show you real quick the recovery option when you when we go uh, make video of restoring the transaction log backup, full backup, and differential. So how you can leave the recovery model in non-recovery because um, 
once you're done with restoring all your backups and you wanted to restore the transactional uh, t um, tail log backup you can go ahead and restore the tail log backup and bring your database in recovery mode again i'll show you in next demo of uh, restoring the databases that where you do that so uh, this is uh, uh, using graphic user interface to take a, uh, up here the tail log backup of your database so we're gonna go ahead and click OK as you can see the backup log sales order completed successfully now right here as you can see that it is gone in uh, restoring state now it is the time for you to go ahead and restore your full backup your differential backup your other transactional log backups and once you're done with that you can go ahead and restore the tail log backup and then we're going to restore the transactional log backup and after that we will go ahead and do the T log uh, restoration and bring our database online so right click on the database since it's already in restoring state so it's expecting us to uh, give the path to the full backup or whatever the backup that you wanted to restore so we're going to go ahead and click on database restore the database and first we're going to uh, go ahead and restore the full backup so we're going to look where our full backup is this is our full backup right here so we're going to go ahead and select that and as you can see it selected the full backup and we're going to go in options and this is what i was talking about that you need to leave the database in non-recovery mode if you wanted to go ahead and restore your differential uh, differential backup and also your transactional log backup it needs to remain in non-recovery so you have three options restore with recovery this will bring the database online and it won't be in restore mode and you won't be able to um, go ahead and uh, restore the differential and transactional log backup especially the transactional log backup differential you still can do it but um, we're gonna go ahead and keep non recovery uh, just to make sure that uh, no corruption happened while we're restoring the database and also no user can come and access the database during the restore so that's why we need to leave the database in no recovery and in restore mode once we're done with the restore then we're going to go ahead and bring the database online so we're going to select restore with no recovery you can go ahead and uh, click on override existing database so we're going to go ahead and click ok as you can see the full database is restored but it's still in restoring mode because we have selected with no recovery so we're going to go ahead and now restore the differential backup with no recovery again so we're going to click on device go and add our differential backup right here this is our differential backup we're going to go in option and click again with no recovery because we still have a transactional log backup to restore so we're going to go ahead and click ok as you can see the database sales order restored so our differential backup is restored now it's time for us to go ahead and bring the transactional log back up so we're gonna go click on device and I don't have really a transactional log backup uh, but uh, I'm going to use our tail log backup as our last transactional log backup just for this demo purposes you can go ahead and select your transactional log backup once you have the transactional log backup and you can go ahead and select that and restore those transactions in no recovery again but once you come to once you restored all the transaction log and you're ready for your tail log to be restored you're gonna go ahead and click on add and here's my tail log backup so I'm going to go ahead and select that and uh, we will go in option and up here it says leave the database uh, ready to use for rolling back and this is restore with recovery and this is what we wanted to do this will bring our database online so we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is our tail log backup so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and as you can see the database sales order restored successfully and let's see that if database is online now
as you can see the database is not in restoring mode it's online so we have recovered our database so basically this is how you use the tail log if your database is already corrupt and you want it to restore from your full differential transaction log and then finally go ahead and do the T log restoration and um, this is using graphic user interface we're gonna go ahead and go do the um, using transaction log um, script so we're gonna go ahead and open the file the T log tail log transaction log back up right here so up here it's a, a same a command as the transaction log log backup but up here you need to pay attention uh, no truncate that means that this is a tail log and copy only these are the two hint that you got that it is going to be a tail log a transaction log backup it is not the normal transaction log backup normally we would have truncate because we do want once the backup of transaction log happened we want that space to be cleared for other transactions to happen but in this case when we are doing the tail log it has to be with no truncate and copy only so we're gonna go ahead and run this command and it will bring the database um, our database in restore mode so we're gonna go ahead and you can go ahead and follow the same steps to uh, bring the database online so I have a video to how to restore the database uh, full database and differential database using T-SQL you're gonna go ahead and use the same script to restore your full differential and transaction once you're done with the transaction you can go ahead and restore your tail log backup so we're gonna go ahead and click execute and let's refresh this as you can see the sales order has gone in uh, restoring mode so follow those steps to bring uh, your database online using t-sql script and i hope this helps